Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of Long War of the Chosen 2. Today we're going to go for the next mission, which is uh, rescue our resistance contacts. Um, we do have a squad of only four um, of our operatives in here, which means we gotta play pretty pretty intelligently to not be um, spotted out but that shouldn't be a problem if we play our cards right uh, this mission should yield us four of our finest resistance forces and an additional rookie so let's see and here we go it's a typical jailbreak so we gotta get the guys out of there And since the edict zone is right here, might as well position our sniper there. Good. Let's start. Our shinobi, Zoe, is on her way. We should be fine up here. Moving our technician and finally our sniper. So far so good. This is the landing zone. Might put the sniper up here, which is a really good sniper overwatch nest. Moving in. Moving to designated coordinates. Hostile forces spotted. Our Shinobi finds the first enemy group. Moving so let's move over here. I'm trying to bypass them. However, there's the next group. Fury is gonna join downstairs. Mainly because I want to be able to actually execute in case we're starting a fight. And now it's a tough decision because we, our squad, might be lacking the firepower to take all of these guys on. On the other hand, there is not anywhere where they could go, so they're not just going to wander off. And we know that they are a crucial part of this very map. Um, There is a certain percent chance that we can actually kill it right away. Hmm. If we were to kill one of the um, one of the purifiers, that wouldn't mean much. So might as well go for the um, for the mech. Unfortunately, minimum damage. Responding. 
We can heal the mech. That is not a big problem at all. Those guys are far enough away from us so that they can't actually hurt us. Let's start trying to take out the mech. If we fail, we still can use... Um, we can still use Fury. move over here. Just want to be out of danger. Could go in. Might trigger another pack. We don't want to do that. Hence, moving further back. Since we can't hit shit with our gun, might as well hunker down. The drone will need to come closer and these guys here will need to double move. Okay, 16 more turns, 15. Let's get into flanking position. And blow these guys up. Yeah, it's almost down. We're still getting a focus, which is nice. Let's pistol kill it. Got another auto loader. Yeah, I don't I don't want to lose my concealment, so we're going to stay concealed. Roger that. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I think he's still too far away. Nah, maybe not. If he stays completely in the open. There we go. A suicidal a suicidal advent trooper and another drone. Let's kill the drone, please. It's still moving. Certainly not work as expected. Good. The guy is down, finally. We'll get the loot. An elite suppressor is pretty good. Uh, 
And now it is time to fr uh, to push on. We have killed uh, Mac plus two. That's three. One drone. That's four. Yeah, I figured that might happen. My bad. I should have positioned her on the right hand side. I knew the drone would be coming through. Oh, the drone wasn't even triggered. Oh, my bad. That was actually a really stupid move in hindsight. The drone was not activated yet. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Completely unnecessary damage that we've just taken. Okay, that's five enemies down. There is between two and four more. Moving to position. We got two melee fighters, so we actually should be fine. Moving up to here, pretty sure there is no pack in there. Well, not in there, but on top of the roof. Moving up. Let's take a shot. Come on. Nice little critical. Time for some more teamwork. That is one down. Unfortunately, we can't resist the bind. Perry does not prevent that from happening, but Perry can prevent um, a shot. So if the shot happens first, we can parry it. If the other Viper goes first, we can't. Well. Okay, we got a problem, and it is definitely my fault. I should have moved in way, uh, way more carefully. Reinforcements are incoming next turn, so we got to deal with those vipers ASAP.
two Larium cores. That's exactly what we were looking for. Now, this here is an aggressive move. But it is probably the safest one that we could do, though, because we are having a high likelihood that uh, the Viper is going to grapple us again. And we're going to survive that. Grab will deal one point of damage. Um, the poison will deal one point of damage. We just need to heal ourselves next turn. Come on, kill him. Really? Grazing shot. There's the bind. There is the poison. Try a ki uh, killing those guys here. Well, at least his aim is pretty good. Okay, we gotta hit the Viper. Come on, kill it. Very nice. So we're anyways poisoned, it doesn't matter if we're getting re-poisoned. There you go. Back to full and poison is cleansed. And this here should be a kill. Yeah, unnecessarily close. I wouldn't have needed to move uh, double move in there. So that was the mistake. The cleanup was good, but the idea is to not make a mistake in the first place. Let's try to get a hack reward. Yeah, why not? New rebel would be great. Cool. We would have even gotten a PCS, but I think the rebel actually helps us as well. And since there are no more enemies left, we definitely have, uh, have pulled every single one. Moving over. I can cover it. Reload. Let's rock. Moving over. Location confirmed. Uh, 
All of the prisoners are now starting to move, uh, move out. And there is no alien activity other than a, reinfor a set of reinforcements that's going to be incoming next turn. Thanks to the new dark event uh, that we had, we're now getting faster reinforcements. Which is actually pretty... Uh, pretty annoying. They did a good job in Long War 2 to make almost all of the dark events really, really, really annoying. So... Whenever uh, one of them happens, you, you, you don't want uh, them to happen constantly. Good. Let's get everyone out of here, specifically our shinobi. It's probably going to spend the next 18 days in uh, Mad Bay. Time for some more reinforcements. Uh, Stun Lancer and two. Uh, troopers. Interesting. They dropped right behind us. So, if we play our cards right... <laughs> Alright, I forgot about the zombies, I'm sorry. You know, a true XCOM moment would have been if the zombie would have been allowed to act immediately. And then he would have just moved up and killed her. Thereby defying the universal role, uh, rule of reinforcements cannot immediately act but no one has spoken about reanimations of reinforcements that have just landed that should teach you XCOM Good, everyone gets out. Can our Shinobi leave? The answer is yes. Thanks to the awesome SMG. As a matter of principle, here, take this. Not sure if we killed anything, but it's stylish to shoot a rocket whilst you're mounting the adventure. Good, that was closer than I would have expected. Pretty hardcore wounded. Down to 1 HP.
and could have been prevented if I wouldn't have double moved. However, the Vipers would have still um, started to aggro on us. So the jury is out whether or not that would have been really more simple. Good, so we got three promotions here. Most of them finally make the corporal rank. Okay, we got a scope, an autoloader. Three Elarium cores, which is really good. So that's a lot of money right there. And we got another rookie. He or she needs to become. Oh shit. One. One hacking. <laughs> that's the worst hacking set, but at least 70 aim, so. I am wondering if we might make him or her another sharpshooter. Because we can use that. Uh, we, we use them quite frequently as well. However, I have delayed the whole specialists. Um, the whole specialist uh, training for too long. I think we should go with more specialists now. Uh, but the heck, hacking was really, really bad. And the class would make an excellent sniper. I hate myself when I talk uh, when I talk myself out of uh, an originally established plan. Good, there we go, sniper. But what we could do is. We could get some extra resources and hire the rookies. Very soon we're in the need to uh, of doing the supply raid there, right after the smash and grab. So West Africa just got five additional um, five additional rookies, four from the mission, one from the hack. So, we do have a lot of intel. 11 plus a scientist should see almost everything that's happening there. Flying back to the black market. Avenger plotting new port. It's time to get one more rookie. Gotta save some cash as well. So let's see about the rookie. Um, I think we do have one person to recruit, right? Yeah, there we go. That one person has a terrible, terrible aim. But an incredible movement speed. And average hacking stats, which is fine, I suppose. Good enough for a specialist. As for our officer training, we are continuing uh, that as well.
need to almost constantly train the officers. We're a little bit behind there because I always use them uh, to uh, and use them to go into missions instead of training. But theoretically, we should continue with the officer training more rigidly. Um, yeah, we're continuing to heal now. Then we're doing the smash and grab. And how about this one here? Three, still three days. So yeah, then we're going to go for finally for the supply raid. Setting course for East Africa. Good. There is the smash and grab. We do have a really large team and most of them are decently well leveled so this could give us a level up uh, plus uh, resources that we would need both together uh, after after we've done this run uh, we will go for a zero percent supply rate which should give us even further uh, uh, which should uh, provide us with further resources if we play our cards right with the zero uh, percent supply run we could get 30 plus corpses out of it just need the firepower to actually do it and yeah that's pretty much it this will be the uh, mission of our of our next episode for now we're done here thank you as always for watching and have a great evening bye bye